Welcome back. Noah doing? with Madison Angling. I am up here in Sturgeon Bay with a bunch of buddies today. And we're chasing whitefish, in fact. Oh, in oh, fact, big. Jim just oh, got yeah. a mega. Look at that <laughs> thing, man. Right on cue. Dude, that is a beast, and it's on the jig, too. Yep. Smoke the jig right on the bottom is there. Your, is that your first whitefish? First, first whitefish of the day. <laughs> nice, dude. Here we go. Awesome. We got a bunch of people fishing today. We got Trevor Olson, Dustin Murphy, Tristan. Hi. Oh, what's up? Jim. <laughs> <laughs> and Alex Weber's in the other shack, but that is an absolute beef cake. There you go. And Both that, guys, for. is what we're chasing today. We got the first fish out of the way, finally. Actually, first two fish out of the way. We are tripled up. Sounds like Alex just missed one. <laughs> but that's what we're doing today. My cameras are kind of not working super great, so I'm filming this on my phone. Bear with me. But I'm going to run through the rig we're using, kind of how we're doing this, and hopefully show you guys some really fun fishing. If you guys have never done this, you have to do it. It is so much stinking fun. So here, let me show you guys what we're using. All right, guys, so the rod I'm using today, I'm actually playing with a few different rods, but I'm rocking the Okuma. This is the Trio Ice. It actually comes with three different blanks. You can actually switch them out with the handle, um, which is cool. So you can have three different rods in one. This is the 28 inch medium. So rocking that with my slider rig and uh, yeah, they're biting. Let's get back down there. All right, so the cadence we're using here is is kind of varied a little bit. We're kind of playing around doing a few different things, trying to figure out what the bite is today. But essentially, we're tapping the bottom with our jig, kind of stirring up the bottom, kind of making our, our dropper look and act a lot like a goby. And that seems to kind of call the fish in, and they're either going to come down and smack the jig or they'll hit one of those two waxies on our slider. But just little pops. And one thing that I like to do is when I let it sit, I actually like to kind of pull the rod up until I see the rod tip actually start to load up a little bit. And that's letting me know that my rod is actually, you know, my line is completely tight. And uh, it depends on the day. The bite's been pretty light so far today, so it'd be really easy to miss them. But by keeping your line nice and tight and sort of loading up that rod tip just a little, not to the point where you're lifting the jig off the bottom, but just enough that there's no slack in the line, you're going to see and feel a lot more bites. So that's kind of the, uh, the approach we're taking today. Wow, I got one. <laughs> you might be wondering why I'm wearing a dress. I am too. Feels like a pretty good fish. You can kind of see, guys, the bend in that rod. You definitely want a rod that loads up pretty decent. Because these fish do roll, they do fight, they do some crazy stuff. So it's nice to have a rod. You still want a little backbone, but having something that has a nice kind of moderate action is pretty nice for this kind of fishing. We should be getting close here. Wow, dude, that's a good one. That's a freaking giant. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> Dude, that is a... Hi. Really? That's interesting. Okay. That is a freaking Mondo Lake Michigan whitefish. Let me chomp that jig, too. That's cool. He's laughing at your dress. I know. I know. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Oh, now my dress is all gross. Cool. Just a little 3 8 ounce whitefish jig. I got these cool little tails I actually ordered from Canada. They look exactly like a goby. Dude, that is, <laughs> that's a really nice one, man. Super cool. Look at the mouth on them too. It's almost like a tarpon. If you've never seen one of these before, they're pretty wild looking. Just crazy. All right, buddy. See you later. Huge. We got a hot shack over here. I just got a pretty good one too might be here for another hour yet. It's a long ways down there today. Pressure on him. The good thing is you have there those little is. hanger hooks. Oh, I can see so I can He's totally huge. Screw you up. He's probably big, dude. Holy That's a big mark. Balls. Look at him. I'll, I'll see him when he comes through the hole. Just watch him. This thing's, well, it's clear water too. Don't get hooked. Let him swim. Let him swim. Yeah, you're hooked on ice. Let there, you go. Down, there you go. Oh, that's a good one, dude. That's yeah, a good that's range. a real one. That's a real one. I hooks though, I really want to hang up. Yeah, we're getting everything on the jig. Really? Wow, dude, that's a really good one. That's a really good one, holy cow. Here, bring him, I'll get out of the way. Take the shack down with me. Dude, yeah, man, that's a real one. God, they're so, it takes a really big one for me to detect it, apparently. Dude, that's nice. a beast. That is what you come here for, man. That's commercial size. All right, man. Nice fish. Play of fish. And Dustin's on now, too. Yeah, you do, sir. <laughs> God, I'm good, yeah. There he is. 
That's on the I'm jig. a jig. All right. Sweet. Oh, came right off. Beautiful. Nice fish. Man, if you had a fly rod and the backdrop was just clear blue, it'd be a different <laughs> video, wouldn't it? Right. All right. Oh yeah. Al is hitched up. Hopefully I can keep this one on. I think you got it. What do we have going here? There's brats. We got brats, we got beers, we got white fish. <laughs> Trevor's cooking. This is how you do it, man. Al's hooked up. Is this oh, your first whitefish? This is my first whitefish. Cool, so be well, care obviously careful when you get to the ice because it's pretty thick. Fish. Okay, here he is. Easy. Oh, big one. Yeah, dude. Oh, that's a good one. That wow. is a shiner and a half, man. <laughs> Right. Look at that thing. Oh, it's gargling. Oh, yeah. He's nice, dude. Nice, nice job. Yeah. <laughs> dude, they are just like meat missiles there. Look at that. Yeah, dude, they're chunky. Yeah. All right. And that fish probably tried to pin it to the bottom a lot like a walleye. Yep. There we go. Cool, dude. I should say gummy faces because that was the bottom. <laughs> but not bad. Nice fish, man. Beautiful fish. So I'll show you guys real quick what we're using. This is a slider rig. And uh, basically we got about a two foot long fluoro liter, six pound fluoro. On the bottom of it, focus, we have a three eighth ounce jig. This is actually a walleye, or sorry, a whitefish jig that you can get at uh, Howie's in Sturgeon Bay. Little paddle tail, you can use a Kai Tech, you can use pretty much whatever salmo. you want. That's a Salmo, doesn't matter. It looks like a Gobi. About eight inches above that, we have a size eight, a little tangled up here, sorry guys. A little more than eight inches too. A size eight octopus hook with a waxy. About eight inches above that, we have another one that kind of slides up and down the line. If we can see it here, focus, focus, focus. Doesn't matter, you guys get the idea. So basically we've got our jig on the bottom, boop, 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 banging the bottom, stirring up the bottom, looks like a goby. A lot of times the big fish eat that jig and a little bit smaller ones will come up and pick off one of those waxies, so that's the rig we're running. Nice job, first whitefish, Trevor's cooking. <laughs> I'm excited, there's fish down there, I can see it. Yep, you can kind right of see how the bottom. bottom's growing a little bit there. They're tight to the bottom today, but they are chewing, so. All right, I'm getting back down there. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up our video for today. Um, obviously having a good time pounding on some white fish. So we're gonna take the rest of the day to not film and just fish. Uh, but yay, if you guys are looking for something fun to do, maybe something that you've never done before uh, here in the middle of winter, um, white fishing on Sturgeon Bay is really a lot of fun. There's a bunch of guides you can go with. I'll have uh, one of the guys I go out with, Lonnie Goman of Trophy Ice Fishing. I'll have him linked in the description below if you guys wanna come out and do this. Otherwise, you can come out and do it yourselves too. I mean, yeah, you gotta come out here ways. You got to pay attention to the ice conditions obviously we're on the great lake so things can change quickly but uh, i would highly recommend if you come out here alone or with a guide to come out and do this it is so much fun guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as we did and we'll see you guys on the next video